Hi guys, this is Russell. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be doing holes. Uh, before we get started, you're going to want to go up to the Edit Preferences menu and enable the free built-in Blender add-on loop tools. So Edit Preferences Add-ons. Go up to the search bar here on the top right. Type in Loop and then click the little checkbox there if it's not already clicked and then save preferences okay so to create what's in the thumbnail i'm just gonna start with a simple cube nothing fancy but you can use this with really any mesh that you wanted so tabbing into edit mode, we're just going to right click and subdivide just once. That's all we need. And over into vertex mode, we are going to select the middle vertex and this is going to be the middle of our circle. Okay, shift control B and pull outwards and you should have a diamond shape like this. Right click, subdivide and then right click and we're going to make use of that new add-on, the loop tools add-on and select circle. Okay, and so what I like to do is I press I to inset and then X and delete faces. So there you have it, you have a little bit of a, a hole I guess, it's a little bit jagged but if you wanted something a little bit more circular you can go up to the object menu, shade smooth, and then over to the modifier panel on the right and add the subdivision surface modifier. So we can see that we do have a little bit of a flat ring around the hole, and this is because generally in 3D modeling you want to maintain what are called quads. Uh, each face of the geometry should be made up of faces that have four vertices each, but in this case we can see around this corner we have six. So to fix that, we're just going to pick the vertices in the corners here and press J. So just these two pairs, the top right, those two press J and go all the way around. And this is basically going to join the two vertices and make quads all the way around. So right away we can see that looks a lot cleaner. Tabbing back into edit mode. If you wanted to have something that looked a little bit more like what's in the thumbnail, kind of accentuate your hole, if you will. Sounds a little dirty. But um, yeah, if you wanted to kind of add some detail to the hole, something you know for clothing or a hat or shoes, um, something that you might put laces through, um, as you'll see at the end of the video, put a little clip of uh, you know an application of this technique. Um, you can certainly do so. Here I'm just adding some edge loops just to tighten things up and give a little bit more detail uh, to the hole. Just shade smooth there again. Okay, so like I was saying, um, a practical application here, something where I've used this, um, is shoes and in hats. So. Here I am using the same technique as before, selecting the middle vertices, shift control B, and then right click, subdivide, right click, loop tools, circle, then I to inset, X and delete the faces, and then I extrude the faces to create a little grommet on the hat. Well, hope that helped guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Thank you.